Hello, this is Amar Chuhan and you're watching InfoBug. As you all know, we are on the last day of the year, that is 31st December 2019. The year 2019 proved to be a year of mixed results at the national and international level. Hope you remember Greta Thunberg, a Swedish environmental social activist, was awarded the 2019 Nordic Council Environmental Prize, but she declined to accept the award. She also received the International Children's Peace Prize 2019 and it was very hot topic of the year. And Indian American Abhijit Banerjee and his wife Arthur Duflo and Michael Kramer jointly won the 2019 Nobel Economics Prize. And our Prime Minister, how can we forget him? He also received various international awards in 2019. So without taking much time, let the countdown begin. Infobug has made the report card 2019 that is complete coverage from January to till now. In January, the Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired the redrafted Citizenship Amendment Bill on January 7, 2019. First introduced in Parliament in 2016, the bill seeks to amendment the Citizenship Act 1955. On January 29th, the Swasth Bharat Yatra, world's biggest cyclothon to motivate people to eat right, culminated in New Delhi on January 29th, 2019. This Yatra was a part of the Pan India Eat Right India movement of FSAAI. Moving on next month, that is Feb. India is world's second largest LPG consumer. Yes, India is now the second largest consumer importer of the LPG in the world. Yes, India is now the second largest consumer and importer of the LPG in the world. India surpassed Japan as the imports of LPG grew 12.5% over the last five years to 12 million metric tons. This is attributed to government initiatives to push for cleaner alternatives to traditional cooking fuels such as firewood and cow dung. India is at second place behind China. The exporters of LPG to India include Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait and Iran. Ye keh rahi hai isharo mein gardishe gardun. कि जल्द हम कोई सक इनकलाब देखेंगे। The most painful day in the month of Feb is 14th Feb. Yes, I'm talking about the Pulwama attack. On 14th Feb 2019, a convoy of vehicles carrying security personnel on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway was attacked by a vehicle bomb suicide bomber at Lethpora in the Pulwama district, Jammu and Kashmir, India. The attack resulted in the deaths of 40 CRPF personnel and the attacker. The responsibility for the attack was claimed by the Pakistan-based Islamist militant group jaish e mohammed The attacker was Adil Ahmed Dar, a local from Pulwama district and a member from jaish e mohammed On Feb 19th, emergency helpline number 112 launched in 20 states and UT have joined a pan-India network. 2019 Balakot Airstrike the Balakot airstrike was conducted by India in the early morning hours of February 26, when Indian warplanes crossed the de facto border in the disputed region of Kashmir and the dropped bombs in the vicinity of the town of Balakot in Khyber Pakhtunwa province in Pakistan. March was indeed the important month for every Indian because Indian Air Force pilot Abhinandan Vartman returned by Pakistan to India on March 1st, 2019. Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartman was captured by Pakistani military on February 27, 2019 after his MiG-21 jet was shot down in POK. Tensions between India and Pakistan flared up when 40 CRPF personnel were killed and many injured on February 14 in one of the deadliest terror attacks in Pulwama district. 
Imports from Pakistan to India have declined by 92% amounting to USD 2.84 million in March 2019 after imposition of 200% customs duties on all products. The strong economic action against Pakistan was taken following Pulwama terror attack. The main commodities imported during month of March 2019 from Pakistan included knitted fabrics, wool, articles of apparel and clothing, preparation of vegetable spices, chemicals, man-made filaments and plastics. The main products exported by India are organic chemicals, cotton, nuclear reactors, boilers, plastic products, tanning or dyeing extracts, cereals, sugar, coffee, tea, etc. On March 11, India became the world's second largest arms importer. India is the second largest importer of weapons in the world. As per the annual report, Trends in International Arms Transfer 2018, released by the think tank Stockholm International Peace Research Institute on March 11. On March 27, 2019, India announced the successful launch of the India's first anti-satellite weapon, ASAT. The interceptor was launched from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Chandipur, Orissa and hit its target Microsat R after 168 seconds. In April, India's first cold spray smart lab launched. Indian Institute of Technology Madras has established Cold Spray Smart Surface Modification and Addictive Research Technologies Laboratory in collaboration with American conglomerate Journal Electric on April 5, 2019. It is first of its high-kind pressure cold spray facility in India that will be utilized to develop processes for aero engine applications. The project is funded under central government's Uchtar Avishkar Yojana, which is intended to boost collaboration between academia and private sector. In May 2019, India's first tree ambulance have been launched. Vice President M.V. Naidu flagged off a unique service called Tree Ambulance in Chennai to revive and provide care to trees on May 27, 2019. The Tree Ambulance service have been founded by Dr. Abdul Ghani, also known as Green Man of India. Helpline number to avail the service is 9941006786. The service includes providing first aid treatment to trees, uprooted tree planting, seed bank, seed ball distribution, plant distribution, aiding tree plantation, shifting trees, survey of trees and removal of dead trees. Government also approved Pradhan Mantri Kisan Pension Scheme in May. Indian government under the chairmanship of Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi approved a new scheme called Pradhan Mantri Kisan Pension Yojana on May 31st, 2019. It is a voluntary and contributory pension scheme to cover all small and marginal farmers across the country. A similar scheme has also been approved for small shopkeepers, self-employed persons and retail traders with GST turnover of 1.5 crore. On June 1, 2019, pension scheme for small shopkeepers, retail traders has come. The newly inducted Union Cabinet approved a new pension scheme on June 1, 2019 for small shopkeepers, retail traders and the self-employed people after attaining the age of 60 years. The scheme will benefit 3 crore retail traders and shopkeepers, which assures minimum monthly pension of Rs 3000 per month. This is being done as part of the Modi government's efforts to offer universal social security. India's second lunar mission, that is Chandrayaan-2, was also conducted in the year 2019 on 22nd July. However, it was not totally successful as Vikram Lander was unable to perform soft landing due to technical snag in the field of space technology NASA's all women spacewalk and launch of Icon spacecraft are some of the hot topic of this year. In July, Pakistan reopens airspace for India. Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority issued a notice to airmen on July 16, 2019 to reopen its airspace for all flights on July 16, 2019 after a gap of six months since the IAF's strike on Balakot. 
Air India suffered a financial loss of around 491 crore with the closure of the airspace. Air India and SpiceJet were the first to take advantage of the opened airspace. Both India and Pakistan shut their airspace on February 27 while India reopened its airspace on May 31st. Union Budget 2019-20 Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman presented the first Union Budget 2019-20 of the second term of the Narendra Modi government on July 5, 2019. The finance minister has stated that Indian economy will become $3 trillion economy in this year itself. Motor Vehicle Amendment Bill 2019 The Motor Vehicle Amendment Bill 2019 was passed by Rajya Sabha on July 31, 2019 with 100 votes in favor and 13 against it. The act provides for the grant of licenses and permits related to motor vehicles, standards for motor vehicles and penalties for violations of these provisions. The bill proposes to increase the minimum penalty for a general violation of rupees 500 from 100 rupees while for drunken driving will be increased to 10000 from rupees 2000. The bill includes setting up a national register for driving license to avoid duplication of license. In the month of August, President Ramnath Kovind has given assent to the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill or Triple Talaq Bill, making it a law on August 1, 2019. The bill makes giving instant oral triple talaq or talaqe bidat a criminal offence with provisions of jail term up to three years. The bill was cleared by the Rajya Sabha on July 30, 2019 through ballot voting with 99 votes in favor and 84 against. August 5, 2019, the unforgettable date for every Indian, especially for JNK people. The government on August 5, 2019 moved a resolution in the Rajya Sabha to repeal Article 370 of the Constitution which accords special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Government has decided to bifurcate the state into two union territories, Jammu and Kashmir, which will have a legislature and Ladakh, which will be without a legislature. Article 370 allows the state constituent assembly to make its own constitution thereby giving it an autonomous state power article 35a was added to the indian constitution through a presidential order the constitution application to jammu and kashmir order 1955 the article defines permanent residents of jnk state and provides special rights to protect permanent residents of the state Fit India movement launched on 29 August 2019. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched nationwide Fit India movement at Indira Gandhi Stadium complex in New Delhi on August 29, 2019. It was launched on the occasion of National Sports Day observed to commemorate birth anniversary of hockey giant Major Dhyan Chand. In the month of September, Food Ministry to ban single-use plastic. Consumer Affairs Minister Ram Vilas Paswan announced on September 4, 2019, a complete ban on the use of single-use plastic in his department and all its PSUs from September 15. The single-use plastic ban is expected to cover six items: plastic bags, straws, cups, plates, small bottles, and certain types of sachets. Indian Speed Post service launched in 6 new countries. India Post has expanded its international speed post service to 6 new countries. Currently, India Post is providing speed post service to 100 countries. IGI Airport gets India's tallest ATC tower. India's tallest air traffic control tower built as Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport with 102 meter height. It was built at a cost of 250 crores and comprises of three buildings namely the Aerodrome Control Tower, Area Approach Control Services Building and the Administrative Block. The new ATC tower is earthquake proof and capable of handling more than 1200 flights per day with a peak hour handling capacity of 75 flights. Union Home Minister Amit Shah flagged off the second 
वंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस फ्रॉम द न्यू डेली रेलवे स्टेशन ऑन अक्टूबर थ्री टू The express began its first commercial run between New Delhi and Shri Mata Vaishno Devi Katra on October 5, 2019. The train will bring down the travel time between Delhi and Katra to 8 hours from 12 hours. On 8th October 2019, the official handover of first Rafale aircraft in France, Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh performs Shastra Puja on Rafale jet. Shastra Puja is worshipping of the weapon. Earlier at the Rafale handover ceremony, Singh hailed the Indian-France relations and called it a historic day for Indian forces. In the month of October, well, it's a good news for all the girls because approval for girls to enter Sanic schools from 2021. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh approved a proposal for admission of girls in Sanic schools across India for academic session. 2021-22 on October 18, 2019. The decision has been taken following the success of the pilot project started by the Ministry of Defence for admission of girl children in Sanic School Shingship in Mizoram two years ago. The decision is aimed towards gender equality, enabling greater participation of women in armed forces, and strengthening the motto of "Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao." On October 21, 2019, Colonel Shuang Rinchen Bridge inaugurated in Ladakh. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated the Colonel Shuang Rinchen Bridge, India's highest altitude all-weather permanent bridge in eastern Ladakh on October 21, 2019. Jammu and Kashmir Ladakh have now officially become two union territory as per Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 on October 31 2019 Moving on our next month that is November month The Kartarpur corridor was first proposed in early 1999 by Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Nawaz Sharif the prime ministers of India and Pakistan respectively as part of Delhi Lahore bus diplomacy On 26 November 2018 the foundation stone was laid down on Indian side 2 days later on 28 November 2018 Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan did the same for the Pakistani side the corridor was completed for the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak on 12th November 2019 Khan said Pakistan believes that the road to prosperity of region and bright future of our coming generation lies in peace adding that Pakistan is not only opening the border but also their hearts for the Sikh community Ayodhya dispute The final judgment in the Ayodhya dispute was declared by the Supreme Court of India on November 9, 2019. The Supreme Court of India ordered the disputed land 2.77 acres to be handed over to a trust to be created by Government of India to build the Ram Janmabhoomi revered as the birthplace of Hindu temple. The court also ordered the government to give an alternate 5 acres of land in another place to the Sunni Waqf board for the purpose of building a mosque. So let's conclude this report in December. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari has announced on August 22, 2019 that fastags will become mandatory for all vehicles from 15 December 2019. A total of 52.59 lakh fastags have been issued till now through various channels such as point of sale by 22 certified bank as NS toll plazas bank branches etc Fastag is an electronic toll collection system in India operated by the National Highway Authority of India The Citizenship Act 2019 was passed by the Parliament of India on 11 December 2019. It amended the Citizenship Act of 1955 by providing a path to Indian citizenship for Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian religious minorities fleeing persecution from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. Muslims were not given such eligibility. The act was the first time religion had been overt used as a criterion for citizenship under Indian law. 
इट इनेबल्स ग्रांट ऑफ इंडियन नेशनलिटी टू पीपल फ्रॉम माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटीज हिंदूज सिख्स बुद्धिस्ट जैंस पारसीज एंड क्रिश्चियंस फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान बांग्लादेश एंड पाकिस्तान आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ रेजिडेंस इन इंडिया इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेल्व इवन इफ दे डोंट पोजेस एनी प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंट Lastly let us pay tribute to those whom we have lost in 2019so this was our special episode on new year eve the report card complete coverage from january to till now i hope you all have liked it and if you liked it so don't forget to like share and comment wishing you all a joyous 2020 bye take care and keep watching infobug